what is the simplest method you can use to calculate your fertile days that's your unsafe period and your safe period and even know your ovulation day the simplest method i am coming for you in this video so stay tuned and don't miss out on this episode i had the privilege last about two months ago to talk to the deaf and vulnerable women on how to calculate their menstrual cycle this is where i knew that there's a lot of difficulties in explanation and too much mathematics in it but i had to look for the simplest way to teach them in order for them to know because you know as you're talking there's someone interpreting so you need to make it as easy as possible i've done a video about how to calculate your cycle in details so after this you can still go back and take your time and watch that video but this is a year where we need to make things very simple for people this is talk pregnancy with dr nella where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women related health issues if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel you won't regret it and those who have subscribed thank you very much god bless you the simplest way for you to calculate your menstrual cycle is this see one thing i advise every woman if you want to know then take the time to learn it don't sit and assume in your mind my last message was around the 25th around the end of february no i don't want this from any woman out there who is listening to me you should know the day your menses started and it is very important so just mark it use a calendar as i am i still mark it i have my calendar where i still mark the day i see my period in order to know my cycle so it is very important if you really want to know it okay let's dive into it first thing you do is take a paper and a pen write the first day of your menses for the past three months let's say for example if you had your menses the first day it started was on the 15th of december you might you write day 15th of december if it was on the 14th of january that you saw your menses and in february you saw it on the 11th of february so what do you do is that you go now and you take the day it started as day one you go to december 15th you start 15 as day one two three so you count the days in between these days so you take 15 on the 15 you start as day one one two three four five six up to the 14th of jet of january now we should know that this 14 is day one of the next cycle so where do you end on day 13 on the 13th of january now so if you start on the 15 15 as 1 2 3 4 5 so you reach now on the 15th of january you end there how many many days do we have there that's 13 now you start 14 14 of january 1 2 3 4 5 till the 10th of february how many days do we have 28 days now you see that your circle is 30 i don't want to put 28 28 because it's normal you just have a calculation and you just already know that it's your circle if you have 30 30 you know that that's your circle now if you have this 30 and 28 days you ask me now that how do you know which one how many days how long is your circle you take an average of it 30 plus 30 divided by 2 an average of that is yeah 29 days so you have an average of 29 days circle if some people want to ask that if they did their own and it was showing 26 days and the other one was showing 33 days what are you going to do now you can increase the number of months instead of having two circles you can increase instead of starting in december you can go now to november you can start from november there you have three circles and from this three you can have the average you take the average and you have the number of circles 
so you turn now from three you can actually have each number of your circle once you have had now your circle what do you do with it how do you know that this is an ovulation day so they catch the main point here is for you to know that circle if you don't know that circle the rest of the calculation will be faulty In these calculations how do you know your ovulation day for example you have find that you have a 30 day circle just take 30 minus 14 what does it give you 16 so it is on day 16 which is your ovulation day so as does as you're counting those you are counting nah, one nah, two nah, three nah. four five till you're reaching the next time you saw your menses once you reach day 16 know that that is the day you are ovulating so you need to count this you need to use your calendar put the calendar down and count it one two three on that day 16 that is your ovulation day if you have a 29 day circle it's on day 15 so you see that it's not everybody that have that day 14 as their ovulation day. if it's a 26 day circle so it is on day 12 of your circle which is their ovulation day so let's take note about this so that is that's how simple it can be just use the pen and paper and you have your result now when do you know that you should you should abstain during this time or you should use protection that's your safe days and your unsafe days your fertile period the time that you can once you have intercourse you can get pregnant how do you calculate those days now if you have day 16 as your ovulation day you take five days before that day 16 and two days after that day 16 that day 16 that is the fertile window that's as simple as it can be and i can bet you if you calculate this me i've been using this for over how many years but i'm not disregarding family planning you can use your family planning if you're not able to do this or if you know that you cannot control yourself that much you use your family planning but i have been using this method and it has been good for me so it can also be good for me just important you know such that even if you have unprotected intercourse during this fertile window there are emergency contraceptive pills you just take it immediately and you prevent unwanted pregnancy and women if you want to get pregnant if you have missed this fertile window and you want to start having intercourse after or before you will not get pregnant but if you have intercourse during that period and make sure you don't miss the ovulation day that's a high chance of you getting pregnant i hope this was as easy as possible but if you still want me to calculate yours personally you can click or we want to have a private consultation with me you can click on the link on the description box and book a consultation and we give you the best thank you very much i hope this was helpful god bless you and see you next time thank you